Hey guys, Henry here from Product Creation Formula. In this video, we're going to be doing a versus video. It is called WordTune versus Quillbot. But before we go ahead and do that, I just want to let you know here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to be able to help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews as well as tips on how to make money online. So if that's the sort of thing that interests you, how about you smash that like button as well as subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Okay guys, let's go check it out. Okay, now here we are over at WordTune. Now it's a paraphraser as well, just like Coolbot. And I had one, I had one viewer say that WordTune was a little bit better than Quillbot. Now, I'm actually prepared to put that to the test and just to find out whether or not that's true. Now, I'm not 100% certain as to whether it is true or not, but I'm prepared to give it a look at, and it's free for me to sign up to start off with, but the free one is very limited. It's only limited to 280 characters, whereas Quillbot is allowed on the free version 700 characters so to keep it fair what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a comparison between the two free versions this way it is definitely the way it's meant to be so i've got some text here i'm just going to be putting straight into word tune i'm going to go Control v and paste that in and as you can see it takes it exactly to 280 characters and over here i'm going to place that into here and place that there. Now I'm going to take up some of these spaces just here just to avoid any extra spaces we don't necessarily need taken up. There we go. Alright, so it appears we have 288 characters for some strange reason, even though it's the same text. I think it's because there's no I think it's because there's spaces. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go over here to this one and it says to rewrite everyone knows about the stereotype of the starving artist well guess what for you it could soon become a thing of the past the internet has opened up new opportunities for artists now you have a platform to share your creative efforts with the rest of the world check it and there's this one here it'll be saying exactly the same thing and I'm not going to read it twice so let's rewrite this just to see what it's like and down here we'll check out what it comes up with to see whether or not it rewrites it as well or better. Everyone knows about the stereotype of the starving artist. Okay. Well, guess what? For you, it might soon be a thing of the past. The internet has opened up the opportunity, opened up new opportunities for artists. Now you have a tool to share your work with the rest of the world. Check it out. Or check it. All right, so let's check it out. You've heard people talk about the starving stereotype, the starving artist stereotype. Well, guess what? The stereotype could soon be a thing of the past. The internet has opened up new opportunities for artists. Now you can share your creative efforts with the world. Check it out. These are actually pretty good. Everyone knows about the stereotype of the starving artist. Guess what? It won't be a problem for you any longer. The internet has opened up a new opportunity. This is actually really good. Uh, we all know that starving artists live on the streets, but guess what? It may soon be a thing of the past for you. The internet has opened up new opportunities for artists. You now have a platform to share your creative works with the rest of the world. Wow. This is really changing it quite a bit. And looks like the further you go down, the more it changes. We've all ha heard of the cliche about the starving artists. About starving artists. Guess what? For you, the stereotype could soon become a thing of the past. Thanks to the internet, you now have an opportunity. Here's a place to show off your talent and check it out. Okay, this I'm, there's a lot of different options here. Everyone is familiar with the stereotype of the starving artist. Guess what? That could be that could soon change. The internet has opened opened up new new perspectives for artists. Now you can share your works with the rest of the world. Check it out. This is actually very good. I'm quite impressed with this and this is on the free version I'm we all know that Starving Alice live on the street okay we've all heard the cliche about Starving Alice okay. yeah look this 
what is the stereotype of starving artists? Guess what? For you, no, that one doesn't make a lot of sense. There is a stereotype of starving artists that everyone knows about. Guess what? Well, guess what? Uh, you can avoid it soon. The internet is opening up new opportunities for artists. Check it out this platform to share the art, share your art. That's actually pretty good. I'm getting concerned for Quillbot now. Let's have a look at what it can do. Let's have a quick look. All right, just a second. Isn't the cliche of the starving artist well known? So what's this? It might be a thing of the past. It might soon be a thing of the past. The internet has provided artists with new opportunities. You now have a place to share your artistic endeavors with the rest of the world. Take a look at it. That's changed it quite substantially. Saying virtually the same thing. Um, yeah, no, this is really good as well. To be perfectly honest, isn't the starving artist stereotype well known? Well, how about it? Uh, it might soon be forgotten about. Uh, might be might it might soon be forgotten about you <laughs> no, that's not good let's rephrase that who hasn't heard the heard of the hungry artist stereotype guess what it could soon be a thing of the past for you for artists the internet has offered up new doors opened up has offered up new doors I think I would say opened up new doors and now you, you have a platform to share the fruits of your creative labors with the rest of the world. Check it out. That's changed it up quite a bit. Now this one here is really good, but it's very, very close to this one. And I'm not 100% certain. I mean, some of these will probably pass to Copyscape. Let's go and check out. I'm going to actually check out. I'm going to pause the video for a second, then I'm going to get Copyscape, and we're just going to check some of these out, and just to see whether or not they pass Copyscape. Alright, so let's go and grab this one down here. Everyone knows about the stereotype of the starving artist, well guess what, okay. Well better still, let's go down to one that's, okay. Alright, let's grab this one here. This one looks like it's fairly well changed, a lot. So let's copy that one. Let's place that straight into here. Go control V and we'll just do a premium search. And it looks like it has passed Copyscape. That's good. Now let's go grab this one. Grab this. Oops, grab it from the bottom. Pick it up. Copy. And place this straight into here. Now let's just check it out. It's also copy. It's also passed Copyscape, so that's a good sign. Now let's go and have a look at the first one and see if this one passes Copyscape at all. Copy that, paste it into here, place that in there, and we'll hit Premium Search and just to see whether or not it's passed. I oh know the first one had a lot more copy in here, so it didn't pass these ones. As you can see, it's got quite a few. Now let's go to the next one down and see if this one passes. So let's go back over to Copyscape. Delete that. Place this in here. Go down. Oh, that one passed. That was good. So let's just scroll down and see if any of them fail besides the first one that we put in there okay because this is interesting to see how well this one works yeah that one passed okay well I'm pretty certain the rest of these will pass I'll grab I'll go down a bit further I might grab the last one and see what that's like 
I would say this is easily on par, and this is on the free version. I would say this is easily on par, Quillbot. Gosh, I had, I was kind of skeptical at first. I'm not so sure anymore. I am not so sure about my skepticism about this. You can also get a Chrome extension as well. Now let's have a look at the plans. So go here. Now you can get you can get WordTune for one hundred and nineteen dollars and eighty eight cents a year. You can rewrite. You can use casual form and tones. Okay, so you don't get these in WordTune. Now WordTune, you get the opportunity to use different. You can use casual or formal tones. You can shorten or expand. You can use premium support and also team billing but that's only if you go for the ultimate this one over here but nine dollars 99 a month or 119.88 a year save 60 percent it's a really good deal and i'll leave a link down below for this if you want to grab hold of it and have a look at what it's like now quillbot let's have a look at get premium i can't quite recall how much it is Okay, so with the premium, you get premium, you get 25,000 summarized characters, 10,000 paraphrase characters, money back guarantee, and we'll have a look at the pricing. There is the pricing. Okay, go to premium. There it is. Same price. Oh, except this one here you can do six months or you can do $79 actually it's a bit cheaper Coolbot's a bit cheaper it's $79.95 for 12 months it's a lot cheaper actually but I have to say this is really good but Coolbot is substantially cheaper at $6.67 US dollars per month or $79.95 and if you wanted to pay monthly, it's $14.95, which means it's a little bit more expensive. But I think this one here is going to be $24.99 monthly. So it's a little bit more expensive. However, this is really interesting. At $119 a year, it writes really, really well. And it doesn't seem to have a limit on the amount of characters that you get with this one which is really cool so you may decide what is more important to you if you want to have large amount of, a large amount of text changed and do it all in one go you can do that or you can go if price is an issue for you then you might want to go for something like the annual one for 79.95 a year Personally, I go this one with this one, and I love it. I use it all the time, as you know. So that is surprisingly good. WordTune is, I might even get WordTune as a backup to Quillbot because that's surprisingly good. I'm actually really impressed with that. And to be perfectly honest, I like it almost as much as Coolbot. I mean, I've been using Coolbot for a little while now, and as you know, I'm a big fan. But I really, really like this. So, guys, do if you have a chance and have an opportunity, check out the link in the description for both Coolbot as well as WordTune. Okay, guys, if you like this video, please consider smashing the like button as well as subscribing and hitting the bell icon. So you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Hey, and while you're at it, why not consider sharing? And also, if you know of any other rewriter that you might want me to have a look at that has a free option to it, then leave a comment down below. Don't leave a link because your your comments get put straight into the spam area and you I can't get to your videos or your comments. So don't leave a link, just leave a comment down below letting me know of the name of the place that you think would be a good one for me to check out. All right guys, thanks for watching and bye for now.